Hey guys, Patrick Johnston, co-founder, managing broker, GoDominicanLife.com, your real estate company right here in the Dominican Republic. Today we're in Sasua. Literally, I'm about one minute walk from my office to the entrance of Sasua Beach. And we're gonna walk down to the beach because at the end of the day, I always say we have a boardroom meeting. My boardroom meeting starts around 4 p.m. It's right there now around 4 p.m. So the boardroom meeting is really a, a meeting with myself and we're gonna do it on video here today where I sit back and relax, have a cold beer and think about what I don't miss about my 1.0 life, okay? So after being in Canada for about two weeks and uh, realizing what that was, it's gonna make a interesting talk today. So to talk, today's talk is about simply um, letting, letting go, letting go of the past and believing in what your new life or your 2.0 life is. So let's go for a walk and we'll keep talking, all right? All right, so this is the, uh, one of the entrances to Sasua Beach. Over the next few months, Sasua Beach is going to be totally transforming from sort of a, what I call a real authentic beach to being a combination of authentic and more touristy friendly. But everybody that knows Susua Beach realizes that it's, the attraction has been why it was here. But uh, let me uh, walk you through some of the things. When, <clears throat> when I was in Canada for two weeks, uh, and I'm only there for about four weeks a year now, I go back and I see my kids and some good friends, uh, you realize how awesome life is here at the beach and how stressed out everybody is in Canada or North America. Some of the things and all the fear-based marketing when it comes to anything, when you watch news media up in the north, uh, the news media is about drama uh, and not good drama, negative drama. And I don't have to say all of it, but look, we, we talked about the pandemic in the past. We talked about what right now is the current thing of drama is inflation. Uh, and uh, how uh, they're trying to reduce it by raising interest rates and blah, blah, blah. Everything is going in that direction of fear-based marketing. My marketing style is not fear. Mine is called reality. And I wanna show you sort of the reality of daily life down here. Uh, and it's very alarming for me when I watch what I put up with for the past couple of years. Hey. The, the last couple of years of watching you guys enter sort of that, the ultimate way of fear-based marketing, which is really mind control as far as I'm concerned. Oh, thanks. And the mind control of keeping people sort of feeling a certain way. And I don't know, I've told everybody around me, and I think I'm going to say it to you now, is that Take that marketing plan of fear-based and just turn it off. <laughs> ah, menus, yeah. There is nothing that comes in a positive way from being in a fear-based marketing situation. Down here, during the last two years, nobody was afraid about anything. And I'll tell you the reality of it too is that the current state of fear uh, where it's inflation, inflation, inflation. I mean, world's pricing for the last 30 years has been going up, but the quality of life has also been going up. So you can't not expect to have price increases uh, when everybody also wants a wage increase. So it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult conversation to say, but in the end of the day, you're sitting there in North America, and no matter where you are, Canada, the United States, for example, and I've watched your assets drive up in value between 25 to 50%. And maybe, depending on the market you're in in Canada or the United States, it's either leveled off or even cooled a bit by maybe coming down 5, 10%. But you're still up at least 25 to 40% of what it was two years ago. And two years ago, to get to today, literally you did nothing to gain that net worth in your life. Now, 
the world is trying to put more fear in to cool everything down and to get people upset again. And I watch this being a Canadian citizen living abroad. I don't participate in that. And I can tell you on a local level here, um, sure, some things have gone up very slightly in cost. Gasoline has gone up a little bit. Gas is still, uh, sorry for that. Gas is still uh, literally 20%, 25% cheaper than Canada right now. But all of the things that drive inflation, as they're marketing it in Canada, in the winter market spe specifically, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, um, all of that stuff, it grows here. So we don't have that inflationary cost on those items. Now, some of you may say, well, the price of real estate in the Dominican Republic has also gone up in value, and that is true. Roughly 25% nationwide in the key market areas where tourists go. But we do that, or the market has done that, but not keeping up anywhere close to what an average sale price is in Canada, US. The average purchase price down here is around that 200 to $250,000 market, and the average price in US or Canada is 750,000 to a million. So you have to say to yourself, do you want to participate in the fear? Or are you sitting there as our target market, and I know who you are, 45 to 65, male and female couples that are at the last five or 10 years of their career path and have saved enough money that 10 cents on bananas doesn't make, uh, a 10 cent increase on bananas is not gonna change your life. So don't go bananas. Don't go bananas in the process. Don't participate in the fear-based marketing. Participate down here with us to show you how you can get educated about how you can live your life, your best life, at one-third the cost of what you currently spend at home. Less commuting, better weather, your skin is better, your haircuts are cheaper, your food and beverages are cheaper, your transportation is cheaper, your housing is cheaper, your med medical system and general self-care is cheaper. You don't have to do the stupid stuff that you don't want to do. There's no shoveling of the driveway. I mean, you can have a great life. But if you believe in the fear of what is happening around you because you're watching TV, it's gonna just continue to ruin your life. So being the positive person that I am, I'm speaking to you now to say, it's time to make a choice. You can have a condominium or an apartment, as some people call it here, at the beach in Sasua, meaning in the vicinity of the beach, for about $90,000. 90000 for a two-bedroom unit. And you can spend, if you spent 500000 down here, it's like spending $2 million in North America. So save your money. Maybe you should consider cashing out of North America and investing in your future by giving you a better runway of life. More money in your pocket, better system, lower cost, and a better well-being overall. So, it is time. I've been here. I, Eddie, come here, Eddie. This is where I come. How's it going, buddy? This is my buddy, Eddie. This is his bar, Eddie's Casa Linda bar. Yeah. I always take uh, at four o'clock in the afternoon, like it is right now, and I'm here in my office in Sasua. I take two minutes and walk from the office to the beach yeah. and have a cold, a, what do I, a cold prestige. <laughs> the greatest beer that's available right now. Yeah. It's, it's a Haitian beer and I love it. Can you go get one for me? I don't have one. You don't have any? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can, I can look for you. Don't okay, look, but, look no, but wait. But a cold beer, and you can do that because I finish work at four. Who cares, right? No, yeah, we're, we're here to have a good time and relax and, and be amongst friends. So you know how to reach me at 829-525-1782 on WhatsApp. Dare you to text me. Text me right now. Watch me answer. And let's get started. I'll help you get educated on what it takes to get started. And stop believing in the fear. Are you scared? Yes. No, you're not scared. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. Okay. Okay. Talk to you soon. Adios. Oh, yeah. I, I